up guys welcome to another video today we got a sneak city box check that out as you guys can see tia hall sneak city if you don't know sneak city is a store in washington run by two ladies and it's a dope shop they got a youtube channel definitely check them out uh bought this box for one thousand dollars i think it was thirteen dollars shipping via fedex and uh it showed up after about five business days or something like that it showed up pretty quick and this is a big box about 20 pounds before we get started guys make sure to smash that like button it really does help a lot and uh let's hope this is a good box i'm excited thousand dollar box 13 dollars shipping hopefully we got some heat all right guys let's open this up all right first up guys open this box up we got a pair of lucy's first up we got a pair of the uh, Sakai Blazers. This is the uh, multicolor colorway. It's a pretty cool colorway. Uh, no box on these, at least not that I'm aware of. These do appear to be a size 9.5. I just checked the tag. And uh, they do look dead stock, which is a great sign. Um, no box, which is a bummer. But I'm pretty sure they still hold a pretty good value. And this is a good mover right here. Um, size 9.5, this is a good shoe to start off. I'm pretty excited already. So let's keep it going. All right, next up, we got a Supreme Black Nike box. Let's see what it is. Size 11 and a half. All right. All right, we got some... Uh, what are those? We got some Air Max Plus Supremes in the white colorway. This is a pretty clean shoe being all white. With the red swoosh. It looks not bad. They do appear to be dead stock, which is dope. Size 11 and a half comes with this hang tag right here nike air supreme um i know these shoes probably sat on shelves when they first came out on supreme but uh i'm not sure what season these came out in these did release in 2020 so i'm not sure how much they're going for because i'm pretty sure most like of the recent supreme shoes have been sitting not doing too well being dead sucks is a great thing that uh you know could throw them up on the apps they could sell on there worst case the only thing with this shoe is it is a pretty particular shoe in my opinion being an all-white running shoe, uh, having that Supreme logo, you know, you know, being a running shoe is one thing is cool, but with the Supreme, you got to get a hype beast that likes to run as well. So I'm not sure what the value is on these, but you know, if it's on the higher end, it's gonna be a bit tougher to move. But you know, still being that side, which is great. We got three boxes. I'm pretty sure we got this big old box, size 11 and a half again. Let's see what we got. The dark gray Wolf Jordan 12s. Not sure why they make this big old box. Let me check this out. This box is huge. Look at all that room. It's crazy to me. Never understood that. These are not fun to ship. But we got these dark gray, wolf gray Jordan 12s. These are pretty cool. These are mad clean. Um, they do appear to be worn. These are really tricky. I mean, these do appear to be worn, but probably like once or twice. I mean, they are very clean. So it is hard to tell. Um, this shoe, the only thing with this shoe is like... These do well in numbers on dead stock, but these are probably used once or twice. And because of that, it's really hard to gauge the value of these. You know, some people would price these higher, closer to the dead stock range. But if you look at, you know, the numbers that they're doing on the used range, it's on the lower end. And I don't think too many, you know, people rather just pay dead stock if you're going to have like near the dead stock prices. So it's a little tricky how to price these. But, you know, got to price them in a good way where they hopefully will sell. So hopefully this still does some good damage on the value box. But, uh, yeah, this is a good shoe. This should move well. You know, can't go wrong with the Jordan Retro in great condition. Um, OG all. Next up, hopefully we got a banger. All right. We got some another Jordan box. We got a Jordan 5 box, I think, or Jordan 6. And we got a size 10 and a half. I don't know why they, they do this. This is kind of is a little bit upsetting to me on every single box the tag their sneak city tag is ripped off and it's not ripped off clean clean and it like kind of damages the box but obviously they have to put it on for their store but like i mean just leave it on i feel like but anyways all right we got some jordan 5 the black grape color mad dope shoe right here these do appear to be used um not not too much yellowing they do need a clean um they got some dirt and a little bit of rocks in there it's got some markings on the upper, but nothing crazy. Let's check out the other pair. Um, same thing, some dirt on the bottoms, but nothing crazy. Still got the jump mat on the inside, which is a great sign. 
uh, some minor markings on the upper. This do fetch like decent value. I want to say like hopefully 200 bucks or more. So that's not a bad shoe. And this is going to be a good mover, I think. I think this is one of the better Jordan 5 colorways for sure. It's one of the more iconic ones. I mean, the OG heads, you guys definitely know. All right, last shoe in the box. Hopefully, we got some good. No idea. Never seen this box before. All right, we got an orange Nike box. Never seen this one before. We got a Nike Air Fear of God, size 11 and a half men. Same thing again. They took off the uh, tag. But it's all good. We got a Fear of God. Never seen these before. These are the Nike Air Fear of God. It's like a mid. Um, it's an okay looking shoe. It's not as good as the high tops for sure. Got the air system on the bottom. Nike here on the back. It's an okay looking shoe. Really long uh, shoe strings. We got extra extra laces in here. These do appear to be kind of used. No major flaws that I can tell. Just some dirt on the bottoms. Some dirt on the midsole, but nothing crazy. Decent condition overall. I'm not sure on the value on these. I want to probably say it 200 bucks or more, hopefully. So overall, you know, we got five pairs of shoes. I'd say almost every shoe hopefully uh, fetches at least 200 bucks. Uh, the movability on this box might be a little tough on a couple pairs of shoes. But overall, I think we can make some money. So that's an awesome sign. Um, so shout out to Sneak City for that. So overall, guys, we got five pairs of shoes. Not a bad box. I think everything here should move. I think the hardest shoe to move will be these Nike Air Runners. Um, everything else should move. I think it's got some hype. I mean, the skies right here are dope. This should be a great mover. The only thing is it didn't come with any of the original box or the accessories. So the value does get affected by that. I think definitely the boxes that some of the YouTubers get are a little bit better than what I got. But... You know, I still see some good value in here. Definitely think I can make my money back. How much margin, you know, I can make, I'm not sure yet. Uh, you guys see the numbers up here. You guys let me know what you guys think. Did I overpriced? Did I underpriced? I know in the last mystery box, you guys definitely told me. What do you guys think of this box? Let me know definitely in the comments. Do you think it's a good box or not? I think it's a pretty fair box. Um, you know, definitely some of this stuff might take a little longer to move. But it's okay as long as the value's there. That's really all I care about. And as long as I can move it eventually, you know. And uh, yeah, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Definitely smash that like button if you haven't. And subscribe for more videos. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. You dig? 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 You dig?